Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our studio in Heidelberg. The civil war in the Ukraine and the tense relationship to Russia seem to have no end in sight. How will it develop, and where is this headed? We at KTV are bringing you the other opinion. Today we cite excerpts from a speech made by Sergei Glazyev, the economic advisor of Russian President Vladimir Putin, a speech he made on June 10, 2014, in a meeting with other politicians. First off, Glazyev said a few words about Kiev's politics. In reality, Kiev's politics are working on the genocide of the citizens of Donbass, which are the Donetsk and Lugansk regions. They are not even ashamed about bombing public buildings. Europe's best airport in Donetsk is completely destroyed. And I am not even speaking about the horrible amount of victims who lost their lives in these bombings. They destroy hospitals, daycare centers, schools, and so on. This means they are preparing the citizens of Donbass to take on the role of slaves. In fact, this means that they view Donbass purely as a source of income, a place where profit can be pumped out at the cost of the massive exploitation of the local population. For us, it is apparent that the USA has total control of the Kiev government and is pushing them towards a war against Donbass until they are victorious in the end. And in this context, I would like to contradict the speaker before me who explained that there was a limit. There is supposedly a barrier for military activities. No such barriers exist. They are currently using the multiple missile system called GRAD. And Timoshenko has even threatened to drop atomic bombs. If they had possessed a nuclear bomb, they would drop it, I have no doubt. Further, Glazyev explains why Kiev has done everything in their power to completely destroy all opposition in Donbass. Because this war is led by the USA, but against us, Russia. The United States are letting Kiev fight this war. The USA are providing Kiev with arms and money. The USA coordinates military actions from Kiev. Then Glazyev explains at length why time in the Ukraine is working against Russia. Because the USA and Kiev are going for a total mobilization of the Ukrainian people against Russia. And even though this mobilization is currently not met with a lot of excitement from Ukrainians, you have to see the dynamic. In December 2013, there were merely 2,000 right-wing radicals in Kiev. In February, there were around 20,000 armed fighters counted. In May, there were 50,000, including the National Guard and other voluntary recruits. At the end of the year, Kiev will have half a million armed men. At that point, the military technology from the large Ukrainian reserve armories will be back in use, repaired and restored. The oligarchy-controlled industrial facilities in Kharkov and Odessa in East Ukraine are now working around the clock to make as many tanks and military planes from the reserves war ready as fast as possible. This means that we will in the near future be dealing with a mighty military machine that will be aimed at us. And the final goal of all these actions and preparations is a war against Russia. This means we cannot escape this war. Because if Donbass falls, there will be no peace. The next target will be Crimea. And that is not a joke, dear colleagues. Kiev has already officially announced this war. The new president Poroshenko said that his goal is Crimea, and it comes only with the war against Russia. Yesterday, Newland said clearly that she expects her Ukrainian agents to get take back Crimea. Glazyev explains the consequence for Russia as follows. And this doesn't mean that we should send out our tanks to Kiev. No, we are in a modern war to put an end to the genocide in Donbass, and that is our right, and international law says the same. And it would be enough to close the skies over Donbass, to make Donbass a flight-free zone. 
In closing, Glaziev explained at length why the Americans needed this war between the Ukraine and Russia. The USA want to organize a civil war in the Ukraine in order to move into a world war. And they want all of Europe and all Eurasia to be involved. All wars in Europe traditionally generated an economic profit for the USA. The war in Europe is the USA's way to being a, an economic wonder, to let the US economy bloom. It always has been that way. And that is why we, and this is very important, we have to see the territory in the Ukraine as a territory occupied by the USA. The Ukraine is currently being occupied by the USA and their mercenaries who are using the entire Ukrainian puppet regime to indoctrinate, mobilize and heat up against Russia the entire Ukrainian population. Americans have legalized the stay of their advisors and military instructors in the Ukraine. And the Ukrainian Secret Service, SBU, is under total control of the CIA. Glaziev ended with these words. We need a widespread anti-war coalition. Ladies and gentlemen, be a part of this anti-war coalition. This is the only way to stop the pending world war. Spread Klagemauer TV. Thank you and have a pleasant evening.